for this. People sat around Jenny D'Alessandro's house and came up with a great idea. One person is left from those, that first meeting. In his 27th year, hasn't missed one, Anthony Julian. 27 years, hasn't missed one. That was the beauty pageant, and that's the dedication. Let me go on to the trustees. All right, this next award, I'm gonna need a little help, so I'm gonna call Carol up here to help me with this one. I know, this is just like, uh, I don't know, I don't know who's gonna be worse. Um, we had, Carol and I were on the phone one night, and we had this conversation going, and back and forth and back and forth, and before you knew it, we decided that there was one man here today that has put a lot of work in over the 27 years that he has been with this fest. And he needed to be recognized for something. So we came up with the idea of acknowledging him as Humanitarian of the Year. I want to introduce you to Mr. Anthony Julian, who is our 2012 Humanitarian of the Year. May 23, 1933, in the Briar Hill section of Youngstown. He was the youngest of seven children born to Rocco and Jenny Julian. He attended Jefferson Hayes Junior High and graduated from the Rayan School in 1952. In 1955, he met Joan Hill, and on July 4, 1956, they were married. They have five children, Mark, Andrew, Lisa, Suzanne, and Lance. They have 15 grandchildren. He contracted rheumatic fever as a teen, which left him bedridden for three months. To keep busy, he taught himself how to repair watches. This led to a job at Youngstown Jewelers Supply Company for 12 years. He took several civil service exams, and in March of 1964, he was appointed to the position of city waymaster. He was also appointed the water department hearing officer. In 1970, he was promoted through a civil service exam and the Youngstown Board of Health to the position of sealer of weights and measures. He expanded this job to include the Office of Consumer Affairs, of which he became the director for 29 years. While in this position, he also created a consumer education program. He had his own TV program on Channel 33 called Consumer Action Line, where he took live questions from consumers. During his career, he was awarded the Ohio Senate Recognition for Outstanding Community Service and the Ohio Consumers Public Official Consumer of the Year Award, among several others. In 1980, he was elected to the Youngstown Board of Education, which he served for 16 years. He is proud to be one of the founders of the Greater Youngstown Italian Fest. He was there right from the beginning. I have been on this committee for 13 years, and I always looked up to Tony for guidance and support, and learning, I learned so much from him in these last 13 years, things that they did years ago, uh, old traditions, and I'm just really, really honored this year to present him with our Humanitarian Award. Tony, on behalf of all of us, uh, I thought this might be fitting. The Italian Santa. <laughs> Tara Pisa and a bottle of wine. He keeps telling me, come down to the house, we can have wine. I says, come to my house, then I will need to go home. But anyway, on behalf of all of us, I want to give you this to keep and keep safe. God bless you.
I can't compare. Although this was the biggest surprise of my life, I'm still in shock. They made me cry. But there are a few things I want to talk about. Humanitarian. One who promotes the welfare of mankind. What a glorious title to have bestowed upon me. What a wonderful surprise, my board of trustees, from the board of trustees. What a wonderful surprise. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It has been a real pleasure working with all of you. That is most of the time, <laughs> like any Italian family. My father was a true humanitarian. He had all of us seven kids planting gardens and giving it all away. I often wondered why we worked so hard planting gardens and then bringing in all the uh, tomatoes and peppers home and passing them out through the neighborhood. And they weren't even Italian. At that time, most of the people in Briar Hill, our neighbors were mostly German people. But uh, I see my cousin is here, Leo Lenhart. He's from Phoenix, Arizona. And he's the one that did that article about the fest last year. Did a great job, thank you so much. And I'm sure you remember about the gardens down there on Dearborn Street. I recall my father pulling a, and brothers, pulling a wagon, a wooden wagon through the streets of Briar Hill, loading it up with tomatoes and, and other vegetables and then bringing it home and passing it, passing it all out to the neighbors. When I was 15, as was mentioned, I did have rheumatic fever and it was bedridden for about three months and I took up watch repairing. At that time, the doctors told me that I should never stand when I can sit. Never sit when you can lay down. This would determine how long you would live. Well, 64 years later, I'm still standing. That was the thinking of the doctors back in the 50s. I took up watch repairing while I was in bed and earned money in, while I was in high school. My father once said to me, do a little more than what is expected of you and you will never be without a job. This simple statement has been my inspiration to all that I could do in whatever I do. I was one of the first trustees of the Italian Fest and I intend to be a lifetime member of the committee. However, this is my final year as a trustee and treasurer of the foundation. I will also retire as chairman of the Miss Italian Pageant. This is the reason for this tuxedo, and I promised Ron Donnellis I would wear it, in spite of the weather, since they loaned it to us. I must admit I have always had the best job at the fest, the chairman of the Miss Italian Youngstown pageant. Each year these young ladies amaze me with their talent and the knowledge of their Italian heritage. This is the 27th show and the 27th year of this fest. Now I would like to introduce my family. My wife, Joan, she has been with me for 57 years. She is also a 27 year member of the fest. I couldn't have been here. She's my inspiration. You share this award. You deserve it as much as I do. We have been blessed with five children and 15 grandchildren. We have two sons, Andrew and Lance, who live in Maryland, and they couldn't be here on such short notice. I do have one brother who is not with us tonight because he is too sick to be here. My daughter Suzanne is here. I call her my personal promoter since she got all this information to the trustees here to present this honor on, uh, to me. And she is here with her fiance Rick and her daughter Julia. Would you stand? And how about the rest of you kids standing? My daughter Lisa. She's here with her husband, Terry, standing in the back. Thank you for being here. Vincent, Sophia, Julian, Anna, and Isabella, the loves of my life. Our son, Mark, is here with his wife, Kay. 
Where are you, Mark? There you are, front row. Amanda's here with her husband, Zach. By the way, Amanda was our first queen, the little Miss Italian Youngstown queen, way back in 87. Joan and I are so proud of all of you children. We love you very much. And I thank you all for this honor, especially your trustees. I hope I can sleep tonight.